What's going on guys? So today we're talking about a new flashlight. This is a Phoenix flashlight, the EO2R, all right? And uh, this one is in their brown coloration. They also offer this in black and they also offer it in blue. And pretty cool flashlight, just one of those little keychain lights, all right? It's got the low mode and then you twist it more to get the high mode. And it's pretty amazing how much light this little guy is putting out. But uh, I want to talk about this a little bit. I did get a couple of Phoenix lights lately. Phoenix is a company that I, I used to use all the time. And then, uh, you know, in recent years, everything's been through night and Olight. They just come out with so many different lights. And some of the other brands I used to use, like 4.7s and so forth, they just kind of went to the back burner. Nightcore, you know, a lot of different uh, flashlight companies. But Phoenix is one of the best. They really offer so many different cool lights. So I wanted to check this out because I liked this light originally, which I had my keys. Let me zoom in there for a second. So this is the Olight uh, I1R EOS, all right? Now, when I first got this light, I thought it was cool. It was very tiny. Same deal, you know, you turn it on, goes to low, turn it more, goes to high. Uh, my problem with this light originally was that when you unscrew it to charge it, the top comes off, which is not a big deal, but, um, you know, I didn't want to lose it. So when Olight came out with their second version of this flashlight, I got it. I got it in purple. And this is the uh, I1R2 EOS. Now this is a very similar light, right? Low mode, then high mode. But what I liked about it is that when the top unscrews, it doesn't come off, okay? It just stays on there. And then you have your little charging port. Thought that was pretty cool compared to the original. Now because I like those lights so much, I really want to check out what Phoenix was offering. This was their competition light to those. Now this is $25. All right, if you get it directly from Phoenix, they're actually $23.95. So if you get it like on Amazon, I say $25 because a lot of times I'll use Amazon as a reference. They're $25 on Amazon for multiple sellers. But buying it direct is actually cheaper, which is pretty rare. So $23.95 for this one as opposed to the Olight IR2 EOS. All right, this one sells for about $18. This is putting out 150 lumens on high or 5 lumens on low. The 150 lumens last about 15 minutes and the five lumens last six hours. However, the Phoenix is just a couple dollars more. This puts out 200 lumens on high and 15 lumens on low. All right, so it's brighter in both high mode and low mode. And the high, the 200 lumens runs for 25 minutes as opposed to the 150 lumens that runs for 15 minutes. All right, and the low runs for six and a half hours. So not only is it brighter, but it actually lasts longer on a charge. All right. It is a little bit more expensive, just depends on, you know, the details, how much you care about that kind of stuff. You can see that the Olight is just a hair shorter, all right? But, um, but yeah, I mean, the Phoenix has always been, you know, it's a pretty solid brand. You know, I've always really enjoyed their light, so I want to check this one out, and it turned out to be even better performance. I think the couple dollars is, you know, really negligible. If you're going to spend 20, what's the difference between 20 and 25? So after checking it out, I mean, it's really cool. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the higher mode, you know, 200 lumens compared to, you know, 150 lumens. You could see, like, if you really do a side-by-side -side on the wall like I did, you could see the difference. But in practical, everyday usage, it's not that noticeable. It's just nice to know it is actually brighter. When you go on the, the lower mode, though, you can tell the difference between the um, 15 lumens that's on the right here as opposed to the 5 lumens that's on the left. All right, you know, in this video, it doesn't look like much, just looks like two circles, but in looking like under my desk and stuff, you know, in, in practical usage, I actually dropped something and I grabbed this light and I was able to see it and out of curiosity, I'm like, mm, let me see if I could do that with this. And yeah, I saw it, but it was, it was dimmer. The exact area where it was, was, you know, not as lit up. So not that it matters because you could just go right into high if you needed to, but just one of those things, just in comparing them, they are very comparable. You know, if you have a, a brand's that you're loyal to, I suppose, and you go with the brand you're loyal to. But I'm not loyal to any brand. I like trying all kinds of stuff. So uh, the Phoenix was really cool. I just did like the fact that it's literally brighter, lasts longer, the, the price difference wasn't all that much anyway. Um, but, uh, but yeah, just wanted to kind of show that a little bit. I did put a split ring on that did not come with this light. This did come with a smaller split ring, but I put the larger one on to, to carry it on the keys, just see what it's like. And it worked fine, you know what I mean? I, I did bang it around a little bit. I mean, all these lights, uh, they can take quite a beating. It's uh, pretty pretty cool how durable a lot of these flashlights are. Once in a blue moon, and it doesn't even matter what brand it is, but once in a blue moon, if you drop a light just the right way, maybe something in the circuit breaks, 
you know, and that doesn't work. But across the board, through all the brands, customer service has been pretty good for me. I have heard people say certain brands have horrible customer service, but then, you know, other people said the exact same brands had great customer service. So that could be said for anything. Like, let's say Target. Let's say you have to return something to Target. And you have a horrible experience. And you're like, oh, Target sucks. But then, you know, there's five other people next to you that had a great experience returning something. It really comes down to individual people and their, you know, specific issues, I suppose. But uh, I did want to mention it. It's just super cool when you unscrew this, just like the Olight. All right, it unscrews to the very end here, and that's it. It does not fall off, okay? But this stays stiff when it's unscrewed. It doesn't move around as opposed to this. This has like a spring in it, spring action that just kind of keeps it open. Um, you can see there is an O-ring in here, all right, on the Olight. Let me shut that. And you can see there's also an O-ring on here on the Phoenix, all right? So let me zoom back in here for a second just to show you again when this is, you know, totally unscrewed. You just take your charging cable here, all right? Then you can pop it right into the side, all right? And then you're gonna plug that into a USB to charge. It doesn't take all that long to charge, I don't remember offhand. I've only gone through two charging cycles with this since I've had it. Um, but, you know, just sitting around, doing other things, editing videos, watching videos on YouTube and stuff, in no time, it was all done. But just kind of cool, just uh, worth mentioning if you guys are looking for you know something a little different for your keys, I do recommend. I mean, I, I like the uh, the Olights, they're totally fine, but I mean, for a couple extra dollars, you get all that extra performance. I think I prefer the, the Phoenix. Uh, it just depends on, if you're looking for a specific color, Olight does a bunch of different colors and stuff, but this Phoenix, I mean, it, does, it is offered in the blue, black, or the brown. I, I think the brown is kind of cool, it's different. It's not really just straight brown, it's more of like a metallic bronze, you know, which is nice, so. Anyway, just want to touch upon the light. Thought it was really cool. I do think it's worth a couple extra bucks compared to the Olights. Even though the Olights are totally fine, they work great. I've had good experience with it thus far. You know, knock on wood there. Uh, but this Phoenix is putting out just a little bit extra in, in every way, you know. But including the price. If it's worth it for the extra, you know, five bucks or so, maybe it's worth checking out. But I do like it. Has been a very cool uh, EDC light. I do really like a lot of the keychain type lights, but. You know, these that have the internal, um, you know, lithium batteries, they're just so small. It really is amazing. I happen to be a big fan of like, you know, the double A, single double A's and single triple A lights for like my uh, pocket organizers or just for pocket carry for people. Um, but, you know, if you just want something to throw on the keys, it's hard to beat. All these, all these lights are just so, so teeny, right? Um, these things are just so small. You just totally lose them. This is only 1.8 inches long and it is 0.5 ounces it's just nothing it's barely there and you have up to 200 lumens pretty amazing really compared to what we had you know even five years ago but uh this is rocking a little uh cree xp g2 led as well just in case you guys are wondering all right let's get a quick little shot of that you can see that reflector in the middle it does have like a little bit of a magnifying lens towards the center compared to let's see here's the the old light same deal with these small lights they use pretty much the same type reflectors, but it gives a good uh, good beam, good beam shot. So let me show you that real quick again on the table, if you can kind of tell it here. So this is probably, I don't know, 12 inches off the table, and it's a nice smooth beam. No no problems at all. I mean, even the, the actual beam shot itself, I didn't have any problems with the Olights or other comparable lights. This just happens to put out just a little bit more light for a little bit longer, which is kind of cool. That's why I wanted to mention it to the people out there, you know. So there you go. There's another option. Options are always good. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comment section if you rock a Phoenix flashlight. If you do, let me know which one. I'm constantly trying different lights for all different purposes. I mean, I have my keychain lights, but then I have my small, you know, again, single AA or single AAA lights that I like to carry in my pocket organizers. Then you step it up a little bit. Then I have my, you know, 18650 type flashlights that you might carry in a holster on your belt or maybe clipped inside your pocket. And then, of course, you have your beastly, massive throwers that are just, just fun. You know what I'm saying? When you're putting out anything over 2,000 lumens, that's just a good time, you know? But anyway, let me know what flashlights you guys have been enjoying lately. And, uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.